time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. I haven't done a vlog in a very long time, so we're gonna start the vlogs back up uh, starting today. I'm actually going over to see a couple of friends, Marcus and Lauren. Uh, Marcus is a photographer and a graphics artist, and Lauren is actually a model and a makeup artist. So they told me today if I came over and I brought all my cool equipment, like my 5D Mark II Canon and my Mark III Canon, that they would actually give me some lessons on how to properly use it. Because you guys know I have really good equipment, but I have really poor photography and videography skills, so I'm hoping that they can help me touch that up a little bit. Well, I'm not gonna lie guys, it feels good to get out of the house. What a lot of you guys don't know and you don't see is ever since I started working for myself and uh, doing the YouTube thing full time, I spend a lot of time at home. I don't get out of the house nearly as much as I should. I don't go visit with friends as much as I should. And I've become a little bit of a shut-in. And uh, and that's not a good thing. It's been, it's been making me really depressed. It's been making me really unhappy. And uh, yeah, so it's good that I'm finally getting out a little bit. Maybe doing these vlogs will help me out a little too. But uh, I do appreciate all the support that you guys give me and everything, and this is completely a dream job. But uh, when you're not reporting to a boss and you're not doing a nine to five job, it's really easy to neglect uh, time off. You know, you, you literally don't take time off. You're always working, you're always on social networking, you're always making videos. And uh, you guys may not see me creating a lot of videos, but when I'm not creating videos, I'm actually doing other things related to the business, like taxes, planning, finding sponsors, because of course now I have to make my living this way, so that changes everything. But, uh, but guys, I'm doing my best, I'm getting it worked out, and I'm glad that you guys are still enjoying the content that I do make. And uh, I've got a ton of requests for vlogs, so we're doing it again. So if you guys enjoy the vlogs, hit that like button down below, it'll let me know if I should keep doing them. Um, I'm definitely looking at my analytic data to determine like what stuff I should do more often and things like that so that I can make the majority of my audience happy. But at the same time, I still need to do what I want to do. So that means in the future there's going to be more codegasms, there's going to be more jerry rigs, there's going to be a lot more of the videos that you guys really like, um, even if they're the videos that aren't the most popular to my audience. But uh, a lot of 3D printing stuff is coming. So if you guys are into 3D printing, I mean there is a lot of 3D printing on the horizon. But today, I'm just gonna go have fun with friends and try to learn a couple new tricks so that I can hopefully make my channel look a little better. And get some much needed fresh air. All right guys, well I'm over here at Marcus's house and we're about to see his awesome little uh, video slash photo studio, right? Uh, awesome's very <laughs> generous. Here, let's see, let's just kind of like turn around here. It's, uh, it's, th it's, through, it's through those doors. Look at that. Oh yeah. Dun dun dun! All right, well today we're gonna to be shooting with my Canon 5D Mark III uh, right here that I have absolutely no idea how to properly use. So hopefully that'll be rectified today. All right, this is our, this is our professional photographer today, Marcus, setting up his uh, reflector doomahickey here. Uh, so what, can you tell us a little bit about what all this stuff does that I don't actually own? Well, this reflects light. Huh? Oh, oh that. wow. Look at that. Armagerd, whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> These what are is light that? Bulbs. What? Yeah, yeah. No. This also reflects light. I see. Yeah, it makes it softer. Ah. It around a bit. Ah, okay. This is soft box, octagonal soft box. Okay. On a monolight, uh -huh. USB monolight. Yeah. Up to a receiver, which is up, hooked up to the transmitter for the camera. So when we click the shutter button, the strobe fires, lights the model. This is amazing. And how much of this stuff is actually useful for video? That is. Just that. That is. Not even the well, reflector? This, yes, this too. Okay, but just not the strobe thing doing the hickey. Absolutely not. All right, got it. All right, guys, well, we got tons of models today for today's shoot because I guess it's easier to learn how to use a camera when you have somebody to point it at, right? Yeah. And uh, they're a lot better to look at than I am. So let's start off with you. Let's go ahead and uh, tell them what it is you do. If you got a website you want to promote or something, go right I ahead. I do. I'm Seraphine. I do a little bit of freelance modeling, mostly boudoir and lingerie. A little bit of alt as well, and I work um, on a food truck as the window girl. And my Instagram is uh, slash or at Angel Seraphine. All right. Hey guys, Bikini Gamer. Yeah, you all know. You know me. Yeah, you should know her by now. <laughs> no, it's all right. I'll do this thing where I like edit stuff in down below, and they'll know how to find you. All right. Uh, Tesla. Um, I'm a freelance model. Um, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com/slash Tesla Panic. Or Instagram uh, at Tesla Panic. There you go. Simple. All right, guys. Well, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> hey, what, what's what's this poor people camera right here? What is this? An EOS? EOS? What is that? T3I? 
Oh, that sounds kind of cheap. I think we should put the 5D Mark III on there. So when you guys are done watching my video, you can go watch this guy's video. See, he's using all this professional equipment and stuff, and I'm just using this crappy little vlog camera. How do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Uh, way superior. <laughs> in, in every possible way? Every possible way. You heard it. I'm incredibly confused about what's going on right now. Me as well. Yeah, we're all really confused, <laughs> but uh, I think the way it's going to go down is uh, you're holding the camera, okay. and I'm holding this camera, uh -huh. and he's holding that camera. Right. No. And some, <laughs> wait, oh no, no, he's holding that camera. There's well, she's there. holding this camera, and I'm holding that camera. There's a lot of camera reception going on. This is very camera receptionist. Camera reception. All right, we got this. Who's an Augie? Before I can learn how to use my camera, she has to learn how to use my camera. And he's got to teach her how to use my camera before I can learn how to use my camera. <laughs> Wow. That all makes sense, right? No. Not at all? <laughs> <laughs> this is like too many cooks in the kitchen. Right here. This is more cameras than have yeah, ever been. Go ahead and turn it there. I'm going to get a picture of his live view. Oh, and no, a picture of my the, camera. The, the, turn it from A to M. Okay. He's now. getting B-roll of his video. What? What? B-roll. Bro. All right, so apparently this is where I get to learn how to use my camera, correct? So... And you're, if you want to point it over here, he's going to be videotape or not videotape. You're taking pictures with that now. So you're videoing? Okay, so he's making a video too while I'm making a vlog video of me taking pictures. Well, he's making a video of me taking pictures. Then he's going to take pictures, I think. All right, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Standard run-of-the-mill vlog here, folks. Am I supposed to be on aperture priority? Uh, or manual. Actually, you need to be on manual. I need to be on manual? Yeah. Because you'll want to adjust it appropriately. Done. For the strobe. And I want the screen on or off. What, Iva? I just, I don't know. I feel more professional doing this. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? Well, she looks like she's comfortable. See, I get comfortable in front of the camera, too. Just, I don't know. There's something relaxing about it, huh? All right, so apparently the lighting in here was too bright with the strobe. So we had to put, what is that, ND filter on there? 4X ND filter so you can shoot. What aperture are you shooting at? I think it's 5. Aperture 5. And ISO 100. ISO 100. Wow. Speed and it was 160. Geez, and it was still massively blown out. All right, well that solved the problem. Good thing I had that just laying around. So now there's a hot there's a hot spot on the thing behind yes, it. Yes, there's a light behind her. There is? Yeah. Oh, that's another strobe behind there? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're dealing with some professional stuff here, people. Yeah. Lights on lights. I love it how I'm learning how to use my camera with all this equipment I do not possess. <laughs> Who's filming who? So this, so this is all it takes to be a photographer, huh? Ooh, that was a really good one. Oh, I'm gonna show you that one. Sass. That was, that was a good one right there. Here, look. Here, here I'll just show you your camera. <laughs> look at that. Awesome. All right, so as far as settings right now, why are we shooting at 160 for the speed? Because otherwise it would just be blown out. You have to compensate for the amount of light uh-huh. Um, and the thing is, you could go even farther into the 400s and everything, mm -hmm. but the problem with a strobe mm -hmm. is the light doesn't last that long. Oh, so, so when you're dealing you, with the strobe, you have to stay within the speed of the light, So basically. what the cameras do, they actually have two shutters, mm -hmm. and they fake faster shutter speeds by just having basically a scan bar pass by the sensor, oh. and they make it smaller and smaller, so less light actually hits the sensor. But the problem is, when the strobe fires, it's only going to be a finite amount of okay. time. So you'll get a black bar. If the, the shutter doesn't get to that point, you'll just mm -hmm. get a streak and then it'll just be black after that. So 160 is 160, the top. 160, 200 that's is about pretty high much as high as you can go. And that's why you need the neutral density filter. Exactly. Okay, well, that makes sense now. All right, so so we know why we made that setting. Now, as far as the aperture, mm -hmm. like, why set it at, what are we at right I now? I would prefer to set it even lower if you had a darker neutral density filter. Oh. I would set it even lower so that the background mm -hmm. goes blurry. So that's, I see. Uh, we're limited by the amount of light coming in. I can actually adjust this to be less light, and we can see if we can lower the aperture. Okay, let's try that. Down. I'm learning. <laughs> so it should be underexposed since you have an adjustment. Okay, so I'll take a picture. 
that being fire? Yeah, no, it actually it is it is underexposed right there. Yeah. So, so now you can turn the aperture even lower. Oh, I see. So like drop it down to four. I think that's the limit four. of this lens. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. see here. Yeah, so I'll have to turn that yeah, back turn up. Turn it back up. I do have a fifty mil I do have the fifty millimeter one eight in the case too. Hi. <laughs> that was a good face. In the picture, <laughs> the lights way over there, it just she looks like a ghost. <laughs> all right, strike a pose. All right, we're taking these pictures now. Oh, that looks beautiful, beautiful. Oh yes, work it. Oh yes. Hey, I'm good at this. I'm gonna quit my YouTube job. Looks good. It's, it's soft too, which is cool. It's not all super. No, it does that. Sharp. What's that? The soft box. Oh, you were really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The soft box yeah. makes things soft? I would know. No. I didn't know. This is all new to me. All right. So, anything else we're messing with here? Or what? Why don't you take some Yeah. Let's we'll swap it up. Hey, Marcus, I'd like to start off by saying that you have a really hard life. And uh, I feel bad for you, bro. I really do. All right. Okay. Get a little test picture in here. Well, oh, that looks really good. Go light. I need to learn this whole light thing. Now, what do you think about this lens in particular here, the 25 to 105? Is it something I, you'd normally shoot in here, or like what what lens do you usually shoot with? I shoot with my poor people lens. <laughs> poor <but> people <laughs> lens. <laughs> what is your poor people lens? My nifty fifty. Your nifty fifty. Is that what you got on there? Right yeah, now? the five mil. Uh, five millimeter. See, I can never shoot. Millimeter I can never shoot video with that because it's always too close. I have to move the camera like five yeah, miles. Yeah, that's away, so that's so. the the limitation of it. All right. Um, so with portraits and things, you typically want to go with a higher focal length, or else you'll distort the features of the model. So if you had a wide angle lens, uh -huh. I. I'm sure you've seen that where people take selfies or whatever, and they they their oh, nose the, looks and, massive, right? Or something right, like, that. like almost a fisheye yes. effect. So you actually want to bring that in and straighten everything out with the higher focal length. Oh man, I should have brought the 200 millimeter telephoto that I have. What's the, that go up to? This one's a 105. Okay. But I have a 200 millimeter f1.8, the L glass Canon. You probably have well, to the 105s plenty with yeah for for, for photographs. Photos. Yeah. For photographs, yes. Got it. See, and I'm a video guy. I need to, I'm, I'm trying to practice that rule of thirds, too. Apparently, I've been screwing that up royally in all my videos. It's put my so face easy. dead center. It's so easy. <sighs> More instructions. This is, all, this is all I do. Am I, am I now a professional photographer? That's it. That was it. That's all you have. You just <laughs> have to have somebody else set up your lighting. <laughs> somebody else needs to Get set up my lighting. I got it. And just set your camera up with the proper settings and the hand to it. And then you just take it. I like and then you're it. Professional. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so well, so thanks. recap. Aperture, <clears throat> aperture. Is the depth field, the f number. It does the depth of field. Okay. And so what the aperture li literally is? Yes. Is a hole in your lens. So a higher aperture is a smaller hole. Gotcha. But which lets in less light. Which in less lets in less which light. Which means you need a increases. higher ISO to compensate for exactly. it. Exactly. So lower aperture is big old hole, and lets in more light, but then shortens your depth of field. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. And then the speed is... We'll go over that in a different video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think we're kind of getting... This is going to be a really strange vlog, folks. But hey, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Y'all having a good time? Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, Jerry. Hey, if you can't have fun doing something, why do it, right? Yes. Oh. That cannon, you gotta let it catch up. <laughs> oh, 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 do we got a Nikon lady over here? Oh, no. I, I think we got a Nikon over here. I had a Rebel, though, and it took a long time for it to sometimes, like, catch up. The Re well, the Rebel would. I mean, the Rebels are absolutely horrible cameras. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we're not shooting on a Rebel right now. Oh, my God, that'd be pathetic. What do you shoot on? <laughs> it's a rebel. Filters. It's a rebel. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to grab my shotgun. <laughs> Alright, somebody else grab the camera. Let's get you both in there now. I'm starting to think this whole photography thing isn't that hard of a job, though. I'm starting to think this is like actually Remember pretty easy. Like, anyway. You have to be able to do that too. 
No, you just have to have somebody who's willing to do it and hand you the camera. You said so. <laughs> As he leaves. I bet you that's like every photographer, too. I bet you every photographer is just like, Wacky that I pay $5 an hour, get over here. My camera's set up right? Is my lighting set up right? Yeah, once you get big enough, that's really all you do. They do everything else, it's handy. <laughs> Joe needs a white balance. Do I? Yeah. Do well, I? no, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me see. Where's you can white balance it on a computer. Oh, you can. Mm -hmm. And I'm shooting. I think I'm shooting raw right now too. You should. You should always shoot raw. Always. Always. <laughs> always. That way you can edit them. I like to break the internet YouTube. shirt. That's awesome. I I need that shirt. I think it looked good on me. <gasps> oh oh! I almost got her. I almost got her. <laughs> I should probably move around a little bit too, huh? And some angles. And some angles? <laughs> Be like, see, but it doesn't have one of those cheap rebel flip sure. down screens. Here, how do you do Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Oh, you broke. You broke. What'd I do? I don't actually uh -oh. really know. Hold <laughs> on. I think I broke it. The strobe is no longer firing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this, this is what a professional photographer looks like. See how he looks exactly identical to the amateur photographer? in every single possible way. Yeah. So if any of you guys want to be a photographer out there, it's really just this easy. Yeah, if the models are good, you don't have to direct. That's what I, I go for. But I liked saying work it. It somehow made me feel more genuine. <laughs> Why is there like, more hey, wait, let me show you. you. <laughs> like see, if I was a model, if I was a model, I would feel uncomfortable unless you were talking to me. He's always like that though. Like, yeah. Okay, let me ask you guys a question here. Do you, do you prefer it when the photographer talks to you or just creepily just keeps hitting the button and never says anything? Yeah. No, I, I, well, there's a happy media. Oh, okay, there's... <laughs> okay, apparently, okay, I, I, may have, I may have rigged that question slightly. But Marcus kind of looks like the kind of guy that if he isn't talking to you, he's plotting on you. Like, just look at that face. With the serial killers, they're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Now, now we're doing close-ups, right? Correct. All right, so for close-ups, we actually let them sit down. See, that's that's so nice. <laughs> Marcus, I'm starting to feel like the models are the real talent here, bro. I never claimed nothing. <laughs> Why did I ever get into software development? This is the way to go right here. Time to break the internet. Don't smile. Don't do it. Don't you smile. Man, look, she's professional. She like fought that off pretty good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to up it now. Why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, huh? Well, no, no, see, I was gonna try to get her to answer, but she's professional and she didn't. See, that's crazy. What are you doing? Like, got Jerry over here trying to crack lame jokes. <laughs> over toes, not lame crack. jokes? Oh. Hey, is this, is this the computer we're gonna be doing all the editing on? <laughs> <laughs> High tech. Oh man, AMD is so for poor people. Who even uses AMD anymore? Poor people like us. Aww. Just look at her dirty mm. nose. Mmm. 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 What? <laughs>
Look at oh, that. everything's off. See okay, that? I get it. So you can tell it's completely blown out. Okay, so, so put that back at 60. Back down. Go to ISO again. Now, when it's down, so, so does that mean everything's in between the two points? So that's good? That's where you want to keep it. Oh, exactly. okay. I never really knew what to do with does that. anything over 100% and under 0% is information that's completely lost and you won't get it back. With gotcha. shooting in RAW, you can get it back, but with video, unless you have something that, like black magic, okay. RAW, you're not getting that. So, so the idea there is to go as low of an ISO as possible. For your Without aperture that you stuff. have, while keeping that histogram, everything in between and not peaking. Does it matter if it peaks all the way to the top? Does not matter. See, I've always thought the peaking at the top nope. matters. So you that's just want all the data it. between, and that's your ideal IS, your ideal settings. Yes. Ah. We got three friends. If you guys kind of split your difference, so yeah, one person back, one person forward. I'm okay. so excited to know what that them. does now. <laughs> I'm so excited to know what that does. Okay, what am I doing now? So, you want to focus between the two of them, so turn your... Oh, so turn off autofocus. Yeah, well, Her. yes. Um, <laughs> then your, yeah. your aperture is still at 2.5, it's best to... Go down, go down to 1.8. And then, could you come in closer, that way. Do I need to get drop my ISO more? to them. Okay. The closest, so it's just head shot. <laughs> you just saw me. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so if you. Oh, I see. It's just a little blurred out. Oh. Yeah, so rack focusing is where you adjust between two points of focus. So. Ooh, that's touchy. Yeah, very. And actually, Tesla, if you could move even further <laughs> this way. So, and over. There, Jerry. Now, okay, got it. So that you you have both of them, mm -hmm. and then just focus between the two, and that's called a rack focus. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. Focus, More focus, 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 focus. <laughs> the ghost oh you better not move you better don't move don't move don't you move don't you move don't you move ah, you moved don't move don't move don't move don't move good dog well guys unfortunately we had to cut the video shoot a little bit short because Marcus and Lauren had a cat that was at the vet and it was waking up from a surgery so it was a little bit of an emergency and they had to get out of there um, but I'm really thankful that they included me in uh, today's shoot to kind of show me the ropes and I'm sorry that I didn't get more on camera but he was shooting a video which I'll link down in the video description when it comes out and I was also shooting a video so it got all confused but I did learn a lot Marcus showed me a lot of stuff with the video he explained that I was doing my lighting in my room all wrong and he told me how to correct it so I'm gonna be working on the lighting in the nerd cave apparently more light isn't always better it's it's how you use that light and I was really screwing screwing it up uh, he also showed me the histogram thing on the camera which I was misreading completely now I understand how it works and I'll be able to use it to uh, hopefully get the video so that it's not blown out or underexposed which in all my videos it's hit and miss some of my videos it's underexposed some of it's uh, it's overexposed so hopefully i'll be able to correct on that and then i learned a lot about photography like i finally understand now what aperture means and what iso means other than just turning the dial until the picture looks good uh which i thought was really cool and a special thanks to the models that helped out today it's pretty cool both of them were on uh, modelmayhem.com and uh, Marcus does a lot of shot, uh, a lot of model shoots. If you go to Lasting Impression Arts on Insta, uh, Lasting Impressions Art on Instagram or Twitter, I'll put I'll put a link down in the video and in the description. Um, you can see a lot of the work that he does, and he's actually a fantastic photographer. So it's really cool for me to be able to get some direction from him. So hopefully that makes all the difference in the world, and I start producing some better quality videos. We'll see. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.